Hi Pisces, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. So these are the decks that I'll be using for you today. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So for your key to the week this week, my dear Pisceans, you get the full card. New things, places, people, and energies, but also an inversion or a change in your reality. In some way, shape, or form, there's gonna be a big shift here, uh, and it looks like there's gonna be something that starts afresh or anew, and it does feel like that. It's, I don't feel like this is necessarily like gonna be some big new thing that enters your world. I feel like this is going to be something that's already in your world starts again or starts afresh. So this could be really great. I mean, the other thing is as well, especially in all of these different areas of your life, change is coming. Change, adaptation, movement, etc. It's all going to start to hit. So for your... Mm, actions and options, that card seems to want out. It's the Three of Wands. This is beautiful. So the Three of Wands itself is actually a very lucky card. And with the um, with the full card, this suggests a few things. Um, one, I will say this to you, any competition that you come up against or around, etc., over the course of this week, enter it. Your luck is very, very high this week, right? The Three of Wands is a beautiful card coupled with the full card. This is a surprise that comes in that you can't see. This is some kind of good energy that finds you that is there for you. And I would say the best way to lean into it would literally be to apply for every competition. Wherever you see, like, you could win a car, you could win a house, you could win a holiday, providing obviously it doesn't cost you too much or anything, enter your luck vibration is high this week so get into it the other thing as well with an actions card the three of wands is going to see you really paying attention to your future i think this week is going to be a bit of a wake-up call for a lot of you in a lot of ways um and then when it comes to the options that are available to you this is potentially a week where you it's either that you're getting headhunted or the way that this could show up for you is you're getting a yeah, like you could be headhunted, but it could just as easily be that somebody sees your potential with something and they say, look, you know, are you open to other opportunities? I would say yes. Even if you've got no plans to leave your job or whatever the case might be, I would say yes. Okay. For your communications and conversations, you have the 10 of pentacles. I mean, look, this is a money card. It's a legacy card. It's a powerful card as well. I love this for you because it does suggest that whatever conversations you're having around uh, work, resources, etc., over the course of this week, come on camera. You know, this is the thing, right? All this time it does nothing. And then when you need it to, it literally doesn't do anything. Come on, what the hell? All right, well, anyway, I'm sure at some point it will stop being blurry. You've got the Ten of Pentacles, which is absolutely beautiful. I love this for you. And the reason I love this is because this suggests that this week there are advancements in your career sector that could actually end up being quite lucrative for your uh, for your finances moving forward. Because you've got this with the Three of Wands, there's a chance here that not only are you getting a lucky break when it comes... Oh, there we go. Not only are you getting a lucky break when it comes to your work, but you are... There's going to be a moment this week where you kind of say, yeah, you know what? I actually do feel like the universe has my back. When it comes to communication, in general, you're having a lot of conversations about the future of where you're taking things on a practical level uh, and potentially around your home and family or property or living situation. When it comes to your... Um uh, for those of you that are studying or in some form of academia, money that you need is available, as are opportunities to work with people that are from uh, international backgrounds, potentially even work placements that have like an international flavour to them. I love this for you. I mean, just these three cards alone suggest that this is going to be a really great week for you. Uh, when it comes to your... Come on, brain. Um... <laughs> 
<laughs> when it comes to those of you that are employed by somebody else, this is talks, this is negotiations around your pay, around your money, this is good news about a pay rise, this is good news about more responsibility if you've been looking for it within your work. There's also potentially here a conversation around your work that suggests you might be looking into taking a different role within the company that you're in that you hadn't even considered that you wanted until you start sort of having that conversation with the right person and it does look like you will. When it comes to those of you that are, um, oh come on brain, uh, when it comes to those of you that are, oh my god my brain has gone completely blank, when it comes to those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves, finances and resources are flowing to your business this week a lot easier, including what looks like what I would consider a big fish. Now, if you work for yourself, you know, unless you do a service like mine, you know, unless you offer products and services like mine, which are kind of localized, right? So you spend a certain amount of time and then it's done. Um, for those of you that don't work in those kinds of businesses or have or own that kind of business, this looks like a big fish client is showing up, but it kind of suggests that it's gonna take a lot of your time, a lot of your resources in order to have or to keep this client. Don't lose the faith, it is absolutely worth it. For those of you that are retired and no longer working, this looks like you're potentially coming into some money or realizing that your resources are actually in a better shape than you thought, and you you have some left over to help your loved ones. Love it. For your uh, love and relations, you have the world card. I mean, so look, there's definitely an international flavor to this energy, for sure. There's a connection with somebody either from overseas, maybe somebody that is a foreign national to you or from a very different cultural background. If you're single, this could absolutely be fire. This could be sexy, it could be fun, it could be flirtatious. There is going to be an age gap if you're single and you're mingling with somebody, there's like an age gap between you and this person of give or take five years. You could be younger, they could be older, you could be younger, They, they uh, you could be older, they could be younger, but either which way it'll be five plus years-ish, okay? All of that said, I'm totally here for it. For those of you that are partnered, married, or in long-term commitments, this is a boost to the collective financial pot or resources that you are absolutely going to love. There's a change in your fortunes this week. That's the only way that I can put it on the material level. For your money and materials, you've got the Seven of Cups. When people get a chunk of money, sometimes they go a little bit crazy and they end up overspending. Be careful with that this week, all right? Just be careful what you're justifying your spending on or with. When it comes to your physical health and vitality, this week I would pay really close attention to two things. One, your sexual health. This is a week to be really on top of that kind of thing. If you're sexually active and single, you know what I'm saying. Look after yourself. If you are newly seeing somebody, somebody that you don't really know or know their history of, etc. I would pay attention to your sexual health this week. Okay, uh, and then finally, um, when it the other thing that I would say here as well, this could be overindulgence. So if you have a tendency to over drink, to overeat, to, you know, take one too many sweeties, whatever you're into, whatever, no judgment. I was a youth once myself, um, <laughs> right? Like this is a week where you kind of need to watch out for it, especially because you've got so many wonderful things going on. So you don't want to put yourself potentially in, in a bad health situation where you can't actually enjoy Enjoy it or go after these things, all right? That would be foolish. Uh, and then finally, when it comes to your home and environment, um, it's really strange because on one hand, it kind of looks like home is going to be warm, easy, and cozy. On another front, I kind of feel like you're lulling yourself into, <sighs> excuse me, I kind of feel like you're lulling yourself into some false sense of security. Be careful what eggs you're putting in your basket um, or what, what basket you're putting your eggs in. You know, there's that saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket. 
the saying goes here, don't put all of your eggs in someone else's basket. Just be very, very mindful around the conversations that you're having when it comes to the living situation this week. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shakes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.